Hello, everybody. This is Chaplain Anthony Kelly. And today I want to ask the question, why seek therapy? Why go to a therapist? What's the reason? What's the purpose and point of going to a therapist? Now, some problems are just so big, so insurmountable within your life. Some dysfunctions are so horrible that you need professional help. Now, family and friends and loved ones and coworkers are all great resources, and you should definitely use them. But sometimes you need to go to a therapist. Now, a therapist is able to walk with you to help you and to, or spe and they're specially trained to be able to help seek out different modalities for you to be able to find that road and pathway to health and healing. Now, some trauma, past trauma, is so complex, so integral in a person's life and Complex trauma, all it is, is compounded trauma over and over in a person's life through the years, since maybe even since childhood, that it's the past is always present and it's always leaking the trauma into what their interactions each and every day. And so therefore, they're constantly plagued and haunted and bothered by the nightmare living over every day of the traumatic event that happened to them. Or some people are just so dissociative they don't even remember big chunks of childhood or that they, they make a client may say to me, well, I don't remember past age 12 and earlier because I, I just don't know what's going on. I think I had a good life back then, but I just don't know. It's all just one giant blank. Well, that's a big red flag to me that a person has experienced that complex trauma. So horrible, so horrific that their mind chose to forget as an amnesic break to be able to protect them so they won't remember what they went through. So when we're talking about complex trauma, some things are just so horrible that you need a professional counselor or a therapist or a psychologist to help walk you through that trauma. And one modality that I am trained in and certified in and use regularly is EMDR, which is eye movement, desensitization, and reprocessing. It is a way for and a modality to help your mind heal from the traumatic memories of the past and the negative association of cognitive, neg cognitive beliefs that you may have about that event. For example, if a person was yelled at and screamed out by their parents that they're, that they're horrible people or they're lazy or they're stupid, and maybe they developed this internal thought that I am worthless, I have no value, I am nothing, well, th that's going to seep into the life. And they're going to have that fear of failure within their life because they know that they are a failure and they're going to fail at whatever they tried to do. So there's always that sense of worthlessness. Or they may even have body dysmorphia where they look at themselves in a the mirror and they think, even though they may be skinny, they look like they're four or 500 pounds and they're, they think they're gross and detestable and they just are so sickening to themselves about what they see in the mirror. So EMDR is a great modality, a great therapy to be able to help a client through those traumatic events. And it is only through seeking help from a licensed professional that you're able to get that modality, that treatment. Now, another reason why that people should seek therapies are that some families are just so filled with dysfunction. Now, some families are just so filled with dysfunction that they need help. They need a professional to help them walk through all of their stuff. You may be the greatest in your religious faith and you're trying to walk through all different religious practices and you're trying to live your life the best, peaceful, most tranquil way you can, but still you're haunted. You're haunted by the family of origin. You're haunted by what your dad did to you or your mother did to you or an aunt or uncle did to you or even a fellow sibling did to you. And you need help to walk through that pain and that suffering in your life. And it's only through a licensed professional that you can get that, that help. So therapy is a great tool in your tool chest or a great thing to put in your rucksack, as we'd say in the military, for you to be able to use in your life. And therapy is a great way to do that. Now, as a Christian, I believe that Christ is in the process of healing. Now, my past is that I am an ordained minister. I was a minister for over 14 years 
in my denomination. And then also I am a U.S. Army active duty chaplain and I am a licensed marriage and family therapist. But my belief system informs me of who I am and whose I belong to. And that I can be used by God to help others find healing. Now, a person, my client may not want any form of religion in their life. And they don't want to talk about it. They don't want to go there. They don't want me to say anything about it. And that's fine. I believe that God will use me anyway. My faith and my theology informs me that our all truth comes from God. God is the creator and author of all truth. So if a person finds health and healing through whatever therapy I'm using, then I know that God is using me through that. I believe that God does heal and he uses therapy and therapist for healing. And I personally believe a therapist may be a non-Christian a, a, and, and have no religion at all. And a client may not have any religious background at all, but both of them can see the healing from God. Now, they may not be consciously aware of it, but it's there in the spiritual realm, I believe, personally. Also, couples make up a system. Families are a system. It goes along with systems theory. And in that system, that each system has its own way of balance, its own way of keeping things in check. Now, dysfunction may keep that family in balance because one member may be an alcoholic or a drug addict and everybody revolves around making sure that that identified patient is comfortable and they, they will enable, they will do whatever they can to keep the flow in some sort of healthy norm within their family system. Now, if one member of that family comes to therapy, then that changes the whole system in theory. And by that person receiving healing themselves, receiving wholeness themselves, going through the issues and they start to recover themselves, they're going to bring that back into the system and it's going to change the whole dynamic and the whole homeostasis of that system. And so that's what therapy seeks to do. Therapy seeks to find change, not first order temporary change, but second order lasting change that will change the entire system. And like I said earlier, even, even though I am a licensed marriage and family therapist through the state of Texas, I am first and foremost an ordained minister and an active duty U.S. Army chaplain. I'm here to listen to you and to respect you and try to learn and understand where you're coming from because you're the expert in your life. You, the client, and a client-centered approach are the experts in your life. So I am there as a curious bystander, learning from you and helping you find the solutions for your problems. I'm not coming up with the solution, but you have the solutions to all of your problems and what you are going through. And so that the problem is the problem. So therapists believe that healing comes from within inside of you. No matter what the darkness is, no matter what shadows loom within your heart or in your life, no matter what trauma, no matter what pain, no matter what agony, no matter what the horror that you have been through in life, realize this, the therapists are trained to help you find healing and wholeness. We are there to walk alongside of you, to be there for you. So why should you seek out a therapist for whatever's going on in your life? Because therapists are trained to be there for you. So why should you think seek out therapy from a licensed therapist? Because therapists know that you have the solution within, inside of you and they are there to walk with you and they are there to help you. So therapists believe that healing comes from within inside of you. So why should you look up a professional therapist for the, what's going on in your life? Because therapists are trained to walk with you in your issues so that you can help find healing and wholeness that is already within inside of you. So therapy is a real part of the healing process of mind, body, soul, and even spirit. We're all thinking and feeling and reasoning beings. And we all need help from time to time. And therapists are there to help you. Help you find that road of, and path of healing that you need within your life.
So your pain, your suffering, your anxiety, your depression, your trauma, all the grief and all the suffering that you've been through in life, you can find hope. You can find freedom. You can find healing. And it's through a licensed mental health provider, namely a licensed therapist that can help you in that walk and that journey of hope and freedom from all your pain and suffering in life. And last thing I will encourage you to do, if you are going to go find a therapist, find somebody who's licensed with a state. Now, there are many people out there who are coaches, or maybe they might be say they're a therapist, but they're not licensed. You need to find a licensed therapist, a person who is licensed with the state to follow the rules, the regulations, the statutes of a state, but also they follow a governing body, an ethical body, such as the AAMFT, American Association of Marriage and Family Therapists. They are governing bodies, they are ethical bodies to make sure that the counselors and therapists and professional mental health workers are there to follow the ethical guidelines that they set forth that are in, in addition to all the rules and regulations and statutes of a state. But they're there to protect you, the client, to make sure that you are not being abused in any shape, form, or fashion by your counselor. So why should you seek therapy? Because therapists are trained. They have the education. They have the experience. They have the know-how to help walk with you in your crisis in life. And we're there to see you find that victory within your life. To find restoration of your relationships. That communication is re-established with you and your spouse. To find hope in the darkness. Light amongst the shadows of the trauma and pain for you to be able to have a whole family again, to find healing from the brokenness of divorce, for you to have lightness and freedom away from all the pressures and worries and anxieties and depression within your life. We are here as licensed professionals to help you, to walk with you in your times of need. So why seek a therapist? Why look out for therapy? Why try to try this thing? You've never talked to somebody before? It's because we're there. We're there for you. And we want to be there with you, to walk with you along that journey and path of healing and wholeness. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it interesting and you liked it, please like, sub push the subscribe button, Share it with everybody you know, and I pray that God will richly bless you as you find hope and healing for your life and your family.